All right, this one's going to be a quick explanation to something that's much longer, but Eric Robertson, Robson, ask, uh, if I'm moving to a new laptop, what files do I copy and paste to keep all of my controller settings from my from my new laptop from my old laptop with Virtual DJ? Uh, it's, it's actually pretty simple. Um, if you use an external hard drive, or if you have dual internal hard drives, like I run on my laptop, dual internals, you're going to have to copy a couple files. One for that second drive, if that's where your music's at. So like on mine, C drive is where the program's at. D drive is where the music's at. So in the main file on D drive is a folder called Virtual DJ. You're going to want to put it in the new computer, same place where the music is. So if you have dual hard drives in this one, to make that match, you will have to have dual or separated. Like my backup computer is a single uh, M.2 SSD, and I split it into a C and D drive so that I'm able to just drag and drop from my other computer that has two solid state drives. So you're going to take that file that's on the music drive and put it over there. And then at least for Windows, it's a little different for Mac, at least on Windows, in your document folder, there is a file there that says Virtual DJ. And it is going to have everything from your database, plugins, settings, cue points, effects, everything. So you're going to take it from your old computer and it's going to, like again, for it's different for Mac, so I, I can't answer where it's at at Mac because I know they do stuff differently, but there is a folder in that that has all of your stuff. The other Virtual DJ folder contains uh, data information about the music songs that are on that drive. So that if you would take that hard drive and plug it into another person's computer, that drive has the information you need but the other one is going to have information on all the plugins from your computer. This one is going to have all the information that's on that drive if you plug it into someone else's. And this one is going to have all the information of all, all the stuff that's on your computer. And you're going to put that in the same spot under Documents and Virtual DJ in the other. And then move your songs to the exact same spot. So for me... This whole example would be done like this. In C drive, I would take under documents, virtual DJ, I would take that folder as is and put it in the new computer, C drive, documents, virtual DJ. I would take all the songs that are in my D drive on the old computer, put it in the D drive on the new computer, and then on the D drive on the old computer, the virtual DJ folder that's on the D drive, take it and put it on the D drive and everything matches exactly. I know, again, it's going to be a little bit different for Mac, but it is that simple. And if you are changing drive letters, there are plugins on the Virtual DJ site that you go and look for to rename. So let's say I had a D drive and I want to make an E drive. I can rename in the program everything that has to be changed from a D drive to an E drive without having to go in and change everything there it's an automated plugin for virtual DJ that, that does a lot of that and lets you transfer the stuff very easily so you can either do it manually or you can do um, can do it uh, uh, via the, the little plugin and uh, Messiah Trinizay, I'm so bad about names, says for Mac, it's the same documents folder as well. And that's all you have to do is copy those over. Um, also within virtual, I, I probably should show this, this with this thing. It's also pretty good too, is that um, I'm going to forget where it's at here in a second. So we're going to go back to virtual. This all has to do with that same question. Um, that down here under this, you can do database. Uh, let me zoom into this one, give you a little zoom in here go over here and then we're going to move me out of the way whoops move me out of the way and when you click on this you're going to get database stuff here so database you're going to get remove all missing files you can remove all files create a database backup which before you do that i would say create a database backup and if you need to restore it you can restore one so let's say you feel it's screwed up but you had saved one you can do the restore and it does a lot of that for you and i hope that's that helps with that, and if you have any more questions about that, uh, I am a firm believer that Virtual DJ has a great owner's manual and a great whole community on the Virtual DJ forums to answer some of these questions if this is confusing or too fast or whatever, but I hope that helped.